so welcome back uh, here I'm just going to explain you some internals of Ceph storage so the prerequisite for this video is that you should have a basic knowledge of Ceph storage so what I had done here uh, I have a Ceph machine this machine is acting as my Ceph server or the cluster so I have this configuration here I've got a pool here images and then I have integrated it with my OpenStack so here it's a OpenStack machine the uh, OpenStack controller so what I'm going to explain you is that when you store your data in the Ceph where it goes number one how can I find it secondly I want to know more about the Ceph pools their attributes and how to change them so primarily we will be working on the Ceph not the OpenStack so number one thing that you need to know once the Ceph is available here to check the availability of the Ceph file system so that can be easily done by the command you, you can see it under the proc file systems and if you grab for Ceph it should show you that the file system is available that's great then secondly I can see how many pools I have got so I'm not going into what exactly the pool is so as I have already told you the prerequisite is that you should have the basic knowledge of set so I, I can give the set df command to show you the number of pools one more command that can be used to check is the set OSD pools but it won't give you much detail about it whereas Ceph DF will give you a lot of details about that how much is used and all the things then I can also get uh, more details about a particular pool that what are the replication behavior of the, of the pool how many placement groups there in the pool so I can use this say say I want to know the placement groups so I can give this command name of the pool and say PG number placement group number so it, it tells me that this placement this pool images has got 128 placement groups another very interesting thing but then if if I intend to get all the information in one command I can use the set dump command Set OSD dump and you can grab for your particular pool name. Here it is. Wow, this gives me a lot of information. So, pool ID is 3, which is same. See here, the pool ID is 3. The name is the images, it's replicated. The size is 3. Size 3 means here that whatever you you copy one file, it, it will be 1 into 2 right so two replicas will be there the, the placement groups are coming up here so a, a lot of information is displayed or can be seen by the Ceph OSD dump command I can also change this behavior so by default if I create one say one more pool I give the command here Ceph OSD pool create say anything so storage uh, say my data and the 120 is the placement group so if I give the set df command here my data will come and I if I use the set dump OSD dump command for my data you can see there by default the replication is 2 that means whatever file you copy in this my data pool will be replicated so 1 plus 1 right so this will be the replication behavior by default I can change this so if I want that no I I want 1 into 2 that means whatever file you, you copy it will be replicated twice so I can use the set set OSD pool set set and then the name my data and then I say size is 3 so it says set pool 4, 4 is the id of the pool to 3 
So if I repeat the same command again, here I should be getting 3. Perfect. So in this manner, you can change the default behavior and you can see the default configuration for a particular pool. That's fine. But how can I see where my data is, where exactly the data is going on? Right? In which placement group the data is going on? So now I want to see this. Okay. So if you see here, in my images, I have got certain data here. So let's use this images pool. So I can, uh, Ceph DF will only show me the data used. It, it won't show me the contents, the list. So for that, I can use the Redos pool images list. So it will show me the contents in it. So here I've got this ID. This is the file or, or the glance image that is here in it. So it is inside this pool, but I don't know in which placement group. So I can copy this. It's fairly simple. You won't generally get it in the standard curriculum for the training process. So I can just give this command, copy this, and you copy the ID which I had done. Right? And I can give the command set osd map the name of the pool and then the id wow this is great so it tells me a lot of things osd map e21 is the map version the pool name is images replication is thrice the object name is this it is in this placement group 3b So for checking this, I'm up uploading one more image in my Ceph using the glance. So my image name will be Ceph image 2. Let's see. It will take time. If everything is perfect, this image should be going inside this location where live Ceph OSD. This is the location where actually the Ceph stores the data. Right. So if I check with the command glance image list, I've got Ceph image 2 there. So it should be showing me here. If I give a Ceph DF, you can see there the size has increased. Fair enough. So I can give this command then Rados to get the ID of it, pool images list. So I have got this new image AC2. So I can confirm this, this starting with AC2 and ending with 583. AC2 and 583. This is the same ID. So I copy this to get more information about it where exactly it is stored. So as it is in the my pool images, I can use the map command. So I can use Ceph OSD map name of the pool and then the ID. So it shows you a lot of thing here. That this is the your OSD map version. The pool name is images. It is being replicated thrice. Object name is this and the placement group is this. Right? So I can note down this placement group. And then, whatever data you store, uh, in, like in the Ceph, it goes actually inside var lib Ceph OSD and your OSDs, right? So, just like this, if I do a df of this and of one, I've got two this. So, so, this is the location where your data goes in actually. So, I am looking for this placement group. So this placement group, so my object is stored in this placement group. So this is how you will find out that in which, play, in which placement group it is. So if I move inside this where lib set OSD, say I go to the zero one first and then here you will find a folder current. 
So if you go to current and and and, and what was the 3.49, right? This is the placement group. So if I go here, you will find a lot of folders here. So instead of searching for it, I can grab for it. Here it is actually 3.49 head, but I can use a ll hyphen a grab hyphen i 3.49. So if I move inside this, you can see my data here and I can confirm it if, if I move inside step one and inside this also I need to go to current and if I repeat the same command because the placement group is same so I move inside 3.49 head here it is your file which is being stored here how to change the application behavior, how to get more information about the pools. This is what is intended to I intend to show it to you. So thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye bye.